are out here on Nelson. Good looking house. Roof looks really, really good. Windows look to be updated, but we'll double check that. Here's your parking right here. Technically, this is a shared driveway. No garage. There's the neighbor's set, set inside. All this concrete's been redone. 129.999 is what they're looking for this one. Two beds, one bath, built in 1928. 13 days on the market. Yeah, it's a good looking house so far. Mm -hmm. No the living room is our stair stairs going up. We'll check that out here in a minute. Hardwoods could use a refinishing, but for the price, a refinishing actually isn't that bad to get done. Fireplace is just a little insert there, so not a working wood burning fireplace, but you can keep an electric insert there or just put in a ventless gas system. Give another look at that living room. It's a really nice front door there. Vinyl replacement windows here. Now they've kept the original windows here and here, and you see that a lot in these older Dayton houses because of um, the aesthetic. It's hard to match that aesthetic there. Formal dining space. And you've got a mishmash of windows here, so this one's a vinyl replacement. This one is original. And that one's original as well. main level. Bathroom looks good. All tile work in here appears to be in good shape. Flooring could use a little bit of help, but that's not a huge deal. Back to the back bedroom, your bedroom sizes here are 11 by 10, a 10 by 10, cracked in there, but that's the cat's room. You're going to have that. Now it shows on the listing that it's a central air. Makes me wonder why they have a window unit running. Nice stone countertops. Those are nice. Cabinets are older, but they're in good shape. That could use a little bit of backsplash or something, but that's cosmetic. No big deal. you got a power box there. Give you another view of this kitchen here. It's actually a really cute little place. Let's go down and take a look at the basement. No lights there. Go down here and see what we can see. switch for any lights, so bear with me while we make it around in the dark. And you can see some signs of water intrusion down here. And a lot more here. I don't know how well that's coming through. It's a little stream coming through here. And then, obviously all along here, it's all pretty wet down here, so you can, you can smell it while you're down here. It's pretty, um, pretty prevalent smell. There's a water heater. It's an older unit. And your furnace is a high efficiency Ameristar. It's kind of an off brand. Probably got 10 or 12 years already on it. And this room back in here, nothing special. Be able to see anything. Yeah, it's pretty dark in there. No lights. Uh, you've got the high and low pressure lines there for central air. Maybe it's on the fritz, or maybe they just didn't want to use it. Whole house has been rewired with Romex. So you don't have to worry about any older wiring in the home. It should all be grounded. So that's good. But you do have a little bit of a damp basement. door just goes out to the side driveway. Take a look at 
the upper level. Okay, just attic space. Neat for storage and such. I don't know if you're going to do anything. I do a whole lot with it. It's always worrisome to see a kiddie pool in the attic. I didn't see an easy way to the backyard. Just that side door. Let us out the side yard. There's a couple of vicious looking dogs out there. Let's see if I can walk around the other way as we leave. Get a shot of that. The vinyl looks really good. So, not much of a backyard. You've got a driveway, and it's a, it's a shared driveway. You got what looks like where a garage used to be once upon a time, or some type of structure. There's your AC unit. You'd have the right to inspections to check it all out. Not a whole lot in the way of backyard, though you're sitting on about an eighth of an acre and the size of the house is uh, taking up a good chunk of that. All right, I'll get this in over to you.